Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Last video, I have completed two problems on computing the income from business. In this video, one more problem. Problem number three, I'm going to explain in detail. So if you want the perfect command on the subject of income tax, watch all the videos. And the problems are dependent on the theory. Don't neglect the theory. And always, while watching the video, keep a notebook, calculator, pen ready. Because so many provisions are there. When I explain, don't simply watch and listen. Note it down the provisions. Then only you can be able to remember. So before starting the third problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Without having the problems, you cannot understand. So take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain. Now, problem number three. Sri Sainath commenced a business unit in a backward region declared by Government of India. The following is the summarized profit and loss account for the year ending 31st March 2022. Compute income from business and tax liability for the assessment year 22-23. So we have to compute the income from business, total income and tax liability. Profit and loss account is given. <clears throat> Uh, so how much is the net profit as per profit and loss account? 3,50,900. So first of all, the format. Computation of income from business of Mr. Sainath for the assessment here. Net profit as per profit and loss account, 3,50,900. Last item given on debit side. Now one by one item on debit side, we will see which are inadmissible. Inadmissible means those expenses which are not allowed as deduction by the Income Tax Act. Already debited to profit and loss account, but Income Tax Act says no, not allowed. That is called inadmissible expenses, right? Now, debit side, payment to staff, employees, the payment of salaries allowed, payment of allowances allowed, bonus 30,000, add outstanding bonus 12,000, fine. In the previous video, I have explained you that even if the SSC follows mercantile system of accounting, all expenses will be allowed, whether paid or not paid. But there are some exceptions to this rule. Income Tax Act has given five exceptions, where one of the exceptions is bonus paid to employees. If it is paid, it will be allowed. If it is outstanding, not allowed. Huh? Even if it is not paid on the last day of the previous year, the SSC can pay before filing the return. If he has not paid even before filing the return, it will not be allowed. So here no information is given. So simply bonus paid will be allowed. Whereas bonus outstanding, not allowed, disallowed. So whatever disallowed is there, that will be added back. So here outstanding bonus 12,000 filed. Disallowed. Bonus paid will be allowed. Bonus outstanding, not allowed. Next, perquisites allowed. Perquisites given to the employees allowed. Then expenses on own building business. The SSC is owning the building and that building is used in the business. Municipal taxes of the building allowed as deduction because building is used for the business. So any expenditure on the building is a business expenditure. So municipal taxes allowed. General repairs. These are the revenue repairs. This is allowed as much. Whether the building is owned building or rented building, revenue repairs allowed. General repairs allowed. Capital repairs. Capital repairs, if it is own building, not allowed as much. Huh? Capital repairs, if it is a rented building, it will be allowed as much. Note it down. In the previous problem also, we came across this point. Capital expenditure, capital repairs. Capital repairs. Own building disallowed, whereas rented building allowed. So here capital repair 32,000 disallowed. So here you can see capital repairs on building 32,000 disallowed. Whereas depreciation at the rate of 10% on this capital repair is allowed. Income Tax Act says if capital repairs are made on the own building, 
then depreciation at 10% on capital repair will be allowed. So here you can see depreciation on capital repair 10% of 32,000, 3,200. Similarly, capital expenditure. Capital expenditure is completely disallowed whether own building or rented building. Again, depreciation at rate of 10% on capital expenditure is allowed according to income tax rules. So first of all, capital expenditure is debited to profit and loss account, disallowed. So here, capital expenditure 96,000 disallowed, add back. Now 10% depreciation, depreciation on capital expenditure 10% of 96,000, 9,600. This is according to income tax rules. It is not given in the problem. You must remember that depreciation 10% on capital expenditure on repairs. Next, other expenses allowed. Taxes. Taxes regarding income tax advance. Income tax paid should not be debited to profit and loss account as per the income tax rules. It's a personal tax. So it is disallowed. So income tax advance 6,500 disallowed. You can see here. Next item. Security transaction tax. Security transaction tax is allowed as deduction if there are interest on securities which is a part of the business. If interest on securities are there, income on securities are there and it's a part of business, then it will be allowed. But here there is no income on securities. So this uh, security transaction tax will not be allowed. 8,400. Now, profession tax is allowed as deduction. Nothing to be done. It is allowed as deduction. Debited to profit and loss account. Leave it. Next, GST pay. Allowed as deduction. Goods and service tax is a business tax. It is allowed. Nothing to be done. Whichever is disallowed, we have to add back. Whichever is allowed, nothing to be done. Not depreciation. Depreciation on land, not allowed as deduction. Remember. Depreciation on building is allowed, depreciation on machinery is allowed, depreciation on vehicle allowed, depreciation on equipment allowed, depreciation on furniture allowed. De but depreciation on land is not allowed. Land is not a depreciable asset. So we add back depreciation on land. Similarly, depreciation on machinery allowed, depreciation on building allowed, depreciation on investment not allowed according to the provisions of IT rules. So depreciation on investment, right? Then depreciation on furniture allowed. So we have seen all the debit items, whichever are disallowed, we have added back. Take the total of all these items, you'll get 1,79,400, add back. So 350,900 plus 179,400, 5,30,300. From this, we deduct those incomes which are credited to profit and loss account, but it is not taxable under business income. It is taxable separately under other heads of income, but it is not business income. Those incomes we have to deduct. Incomes chargeable to tax separately, right? Now, see the credit side of profit and loss account. Gross profit, it's a business income. Dividend on shares. Remember, dividend on shares is taxable under income from other sources. It is not taxable under income from business. So we deduct. So dividend on shares, 35,000 deduct. Next one is income tax refund. Income tax paid is not allowed as deduction. So income tax refund is not an income at all. Our money we are getting back. We have paid more income tax. So income tax department is making a refund. So it is not an income. So income tax refund is not at all an income. So deduct. It is already credited to profit and loss account. So we are deducting. Next one is uh, profit on sale of machinery. Any profit on sale of depreciable asset will always be a short term capital gain. It is not a business income. It is not taxable as a business income. It is taxable under the head income from capital gain. It is a short term capital gain, which is taxed along with other incomes. Right. So we deduct. Profit on sale of machinery, 84,000. Last one is hire of machinery. Some machinery was idle. So this businessman, this SSC has let out, has given that machinery on rent and he has received, received the hire charges. It's a business income. It's a business income, nothing to be done. 
whichever is not a business income you deduct whichever is a business income nothing now come to adjustment so these three items total is 1,26,200 deduct 1,26,200 4,4,100 so 4,4,100 continuation there is no place that's why I'm writing separately continuation 4,4,100 now adjustment during the financial year for setting up the business in backward area notified by government he received subsidy in GST 10,000 power subsidy for using conventional energy 21,800 so because the business is set up in a backward area so government is giving some subsidy in GST and subsidy in energy saving that will be added to the profit because they are getting the SSC is getting an income from the government so these are the unrecorded incomes which are the unrecorded subsidy in GST 10,000 and power subsidy 21,800 the so total is 31,800 add up 4,35,900 now deductions as per the income tax rules deductions allowed as per income tax rules the first depreciation on capital expand capital repair already we have discussed depreciation on capital expenditure we have discussed now depreciation on machinery now see the uh, adjustment uh, during the previous year machinery for production purpose costing 2,80,000 and 3 lakh worth energy saving machinery are purchased on 5th July 2022 and 10% of the cost is received as subsidy so during the year one machinery for production and one machinery for energy saving equipment are purchased so government has given 10% subsidy on that so first of all on machinery depreciation is allowed at the rate of 15% that is given by income tax rules it is not given in the problem you have to remember depreciation on machinery general machinery is 15% but we deduct the subsidy given by the government actually the cost of the machinery depreciation on machinery 15% of the cost of the machinery is 2,80,000 but 10% of 2,80,000 is subsidized by the government so deduct the subsidy so 2,80,000 minus 28,000 2,52,000 on that 15% is, is the rate of debt it comes to 37,800 this is the depreciation of machinery on uh, energy saving equipment income tax act has given the rate 40% is the rate of depreciation on energy saving equipment here the SSC has purchased energy saving equipment for 3 lakh 10% of 3 lakh 30,000 deduct 30,000 270,000 so 40% of 2 lakh 70,000 on general machinery 15% on energy saving machinery 40% that is specified by income tax rules so 40% of 2 lakh 70,000 lakh 8,000 that's all now take the total of these 4 items you will get 1 lakh 58,600 deduct 4,35,900 minus 158,600 2,77,300 this is the income from business now total income income from business is 277,300 now income from capital gain there is a short term capital gain on sale of machinery you know where, where it is here profit on sale of machinery just now I told you according to the rules if any depreciable asset is sold by the business always the gain arising will be short term capital gain which is taxed on slab system along with other incomes there is no separate tax short term capital gain is taxed on a slab system along with other incomes so income from business income from capital gain profit on sale of machinery it is a short term capital gain STCG 84,000 income from other sources dividend on shares received here you can see dividend on shares that is taxable under income from other sources income from other sources dividend on shares 35,000 right now add up the three amounts you will get 3,96,300 this is the total income on this total income the tax computation of tax liability slab income rate tax the first slab up to 250000 no tax so up to 250000 income 250000 nil no tax the second slab goes from 250001 to 5 lakh 
But is our income going up to 5 lakh? No. Our income is only 3 lakh 96, 300. It is below 5 lakh. So we'll take the balance. 3 lakh 96,300 minus 2 lakh 50,000. The balance is 146,300 on which the rate of tax 5%. So 5% of 146,300, 7315. So 7315 is the tax on the total income. Now, according to the provisions of Income Tax Act, tax rebate under Section 87A will be allowed to an SSC whose total income is up to 5 lakh rupees, not more than 5 lakh. If the income is more than 5 lakh, then tax rebate will not be allowed. If the income is up to 5 lakh rupees, tax rebate will be allowed. Here it is less than 5 lakh. So SSC will get tax rebate under section 87A. How much? The basic income tax or 12,500, whichever is least. The basic income tax is 7,315. And the maximum limit allowed is 12,500, whichever is least. So 7,315 or 12,500, whichever is least. 7,315 is least. So that is a tax rebate under section 87A. Deduct nil. No tax at all. But already he has paid the advance tax. In the profit and loss account, you can see advance income tax, advance paid 6,500. The SSC has paid during the year advance tax of 6,500. So 0 minus 6,500, you are getting minus 6,500. There is no tax liability. Refund of tax. The income tax department will refund the tax. How much? 6,500. That's it. In examination, it is not sufficient only to calculate. After making all the calculation, you must write the working notes, a number of working notes. So many items. Just like I told you, profit and sale of machinery is a short term capital gain. It is taxable under income from capital gain. Dividend on shares, it is taxable under income from other sources. Similarly, income tax refund, not at all an income. It is not at all taxable. In working note, you should write down. Similarly, outstanding bonus. Bonus paid will be allowed, but outstanding bonus not allowed. Capital repairs. If own building is there, capital repair not allowed, but depreciation 10% is allowed. Capital expenditure, whether own building or rented building, completely not allowed, disallowed, add back, and 10% depreciation. Similarly, income tax. Not allowed as deduction. Security transaction tax, not allowed. Depreciation on land and investment, not allowed. Other assets, it is allowed. Right? So these are the items you have to remember. So we have completed problem number three. Inshallah, we will continue our next problem. That is problem number four in the next video. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel, give your comments and subscribe. If you have not yet subscribed, give your comments and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video